This video is sponsored by Squarespace. everybody and welcome to another video. I hope that you are all well. I'm so happy to have you here. I thought today I would walk you through some of my favorite weekly routines, things that I do very often on a weekly basis. I'm not religious about any of them. I'm not religious about anything really. Um, these are things that potentially you've seen a few times before because I've spoken about them before because they continue to give me great joy. <laughs> I do these things out of just pure enjoyment for existing <laughs> and not necessarily to like constantly be self-optimizing or try and be more efficient or to be a better future self. Those are potentially all like really lovely side benefits and like nice extras. Um, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, let's get, let's get into it. On my day off, my favorite thing to do is to sit hopefully in the sun with my cup of coffee and catch up on all my favorite newsletters. Um, so I go through Substack and read everything that I need to catch up on and things that are interesting to me. I also have a New York Times subscription, so I go through um, some of the articles that I saved to read for later. And if I'm not really in the mood for any of that, I always have my book next to me and it feels so lovely to start my day off this way. Before we continue on, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We love Squarespace on this channel. If you are in need of a new website or you're starting a new online store, Squarespace is the place for you because they have everything in one. So you can focus more on the things that you want to focus on, on the creative aspects on it, rather than having to code and do what I think is like the boring nitty gritty, <laughs> which I have no time for. They have so many different templates to choose from. They're all very easy to use, very intuitive and aesthetically pleasing. They have heaps of blogging tools that make it really fun to share your content, whether that's photos or recipes. You can also create member areas by selling access to paid content like online classes or videos or just valuable information and so i highly 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 recommend squarespace so if this sounds like you you can head over to squarespace.com and start your free trial and once you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash nina montagne and you can get 10 percent off of your first purchase of a website or domain thank you squarespace as always <laughs> back to the video I love doing regularly sometimes more than once a week is going to the library I don't think that's a surprise to anybody I love spending time there I love my walk there I love placing a million book reservations and I love the stress that comes with all of them for some reason being available at once and then I have 17 books in my room that I have to read and it's overwhelming but I love it all <laughs> but what I realize is that the library has such a vast section of cookbooks of amazing beautiful cookbooks and i have recently gotten into the habit of checking out a cookbook once a week once every two weeks trying out the recipes especially because cookbooks seem to be they're quite expensive so it's really nice to go to the library and pick something new so yeah so this time i picked out this book 
by Amy Taplin. I've used some of her recipes before and there were some recipes in there that seemed really warming and comforting, um, which is perfect for me now because it's winter in Sydney. I don't shy away from taking cookbooks that are not vegan. In fact, I mostly prefer those. I have a real problem with vegan cookbooks. And this is something that I did when I was creating recipes in which like the only thing bringing all these recipes together is the fact that they're vegan. So it's like vegan tacos and I don't know, a vegan pot pie and then vegan sushi and then a vegan curry. And there's no real acknowledgement for the culture or the history behind those recipes. And so, I don't necessarily love taking out vegan cookbooks and I find it quite easy, you know, to get a cookbook and veganize it and I prefer to do that and get some sort of, you know, context for where this recipe is coming from. In saying that, I did pick out this book which is, you know, it's like the ultimate whole foods, lots of healthy, wholesome recipes in there and the thing that's tying them all together is the fact that they're whole foods. And that is fine, like I do that as well. This actually ties in really nicely with the next ritual that is potentially one of my favorite ones and one that um, I've tried to integrate a little bit more often because obviously I cook a lot, I've been cooking for many years, um, it's something that I really enjoy, but I think because I've done it for so long, um, a lot of these things just become kind of like second nature and I'm not very deliberate or intentional about it and I just like get things done bam 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 and someone who I really appreciate I was watching him cook and he cooks so precisely and he really pays attention to like picking out the the, the coriander leaves very delicately and he really pays attention to like really mincing the garlic so that it's totally minced and everything he, he takes such great care <laughs> of every ingredient and it was so lovely to witness so i've been trying a recipe a new recipe every week trying to stop myself from making things easier or making things quicker Weekly, I need to clear out my space. I do this daily, really. I cannot function if there is clutter around me. Look, if you open one of those drawers, a different story, but <laughs> everything has to be put away. But weekly, I do more of a bigger like clear up, and there's two methods that I really enjoy. The first one is particularly helpful for me because I'm easily distracted, and if I start just aimlessly cleaning, I'll then just move on to a different task and completely forget that I was cleaning once I like find something interesting or just look at a different area, and uh, that's the end. So for me, it works really well to do one bit at a time, and once I go in with that mentality, um, I know that I have to remain on task so for example if I need to tidy up my dresser I can only move on from that dresser once it's totally done and then I'll move on to my nightstand table or then I'll move on to another area in the apartment um, and that works really well um, the other thing that I like doing that's more of a daily thing and if um, it's just like there's clutter everywhere it's like 10 minutes I put a timer on five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and see how much I can get done in that time putting a timer on just makes you a lot quicker a lot more productive and efficient and it works really well and I'm always surprised that usually it takes less than 10 minutes to tidy up a space in which I thought it was gonna take me like three hours <laughs> but also of course Clearing out the mind is very important and doing things for your mental health is extremely important, of course, of course. Um, but the method that I like using for that is to make it very casual and very low maintenance. And the only thing that I'm strict about is scheduling two hours a week 
for myself and myself only and I treat that as if I was scheduling it with a friend or someone else. Um, everything else it depends on the mood, it depends on like how hectic my week was and so uh, I just create a vibe, <laughs> I create a mood in my room, it always starts with lighting up some candles and I think it's the lighting of the candles that then lets me know okay what do I feel like doing? So sometimes I'll play some music and then I'll start dancing or I'll roll out my mat or I journal. <laughs> Obviously, journaling really good for you. We all know this. I know that you're rolling your eyes at me. Um, but, you know, again, I'm the kind of person that will take up journaling and do it obsessively for two weeks and then lose total interest and not do it for six months. So I think for me, just having a very low maintenance, casual two hours for myself and let myself tell me what it is that I need rather than being like, I need a journal every single day and then that becoming like a really stressful habit. I just know that I have two hours to take care of myself in a way that feels nurturing and doesn't have to be anything specific. So sometimes you'll find me in bed listening to a podcast just lying down or sometimes I'm just lying down and then I fall asleep. That rarely happens, but sometimes it happens. Um, or I'm just reading my book or whatever it is. Um, I write down some things in my journal, maybe do a little bit of a summary, see what was working, see what didn't work, how was I feeling, what do I want from the next week. Um, so yeah, I think it's very important to not only rely on these really lovely rituals out of necessity as in you're only doing them because you've reached rock bottom and now you're trying to make up for all the time you didn't rest <laughs> um look that is me to a t <laughs> i'm such an all or nothing person and so sometimes i do find that i'm reaching out for these rituals because <laughs> you know i wasn't paying attention to my mental health um, I'm trying to change that. I feel like it's very difficult, but in, you know, doing it little by little and scheduling these two hours a week has made it a little bit just nicer and more pleasurable. And also these things become just more pleasurable if you're not doing them out of, you know, the fact that you are totally drained and exhausted and you've burnt the candle at both ends so now you're trying to do yoga and you're trying to meditate and you're trying to journal usually when you come to those things with that energy which is depleted energy what comes out of you can be you know less joyful <laughs> so yeah i think this is the last ritual these are some of the rituals that i do on a weekly basis that make me feel grounded as i said before i don't always do them i sometimes just don't do any of them and that's okay um and sometimes i do all of them and sometimes i just do two and you know every week is different you know this um let me know what your rituals are i'd love to hear about them and i hope that you're very well and you're taking care of yourself and you're eating good food and i'll see you very very soon bye